Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Scipii campaign in Rome Total War, remastered. And last episode we smashed Carthage into smithereens. Second episode we've already defeated Carthage. <laughs> there probably won't be anyone else who can stand in our way. And what we should probably do is go and mop up Carthage. And we do have some movement points, so we will do that. Uh, we'll leave behind some of these really battered troops. There's no need to take them to these battles. I wonder whether we can get... I, I think we'll go for the bigger army first and see whether we can reach the second army. What is that second army? We should be able to defeat that second army just with cavalry. So that's what we're going to do. Mm. We don't really need all this infantry, to be honest. Or the archers. Don't take them. So let's go. Fantastic, and uh, we do have a general, and of course we have seen how much the generals are a pain in the backside. Now they have a decent amount of cavalry, but we have more, so we should do better. <laughs> That's how it works. We've got more, we'll do better. <laughs> It'd be nice to get those equites, some, some armor upgrades to be honest. You don't have a huge amount of armor. Now, yesterday, guys, from when this is coming out, I did release a video ranking every single unit in Rome Total War Remastered and Rome Total War Original, obviously. All the Roman units, should I say. So do check that out, guys. That would be fantastic. Um, and to be honest, after playing the Scipii again, I feel like I should have reduced the ranking of the Hastati, but let's see. stand the rebel slaves they are braver and more worthy than men of their type have any right to be on this field stand one in four of our people's warriors we are enough then to win great honor and do great service this and more i have no doubts that you will do they have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter we slightly outnumber the enemy, but take nothing for granted. Victory must still be earned. The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plans. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Way! Good speech. Nice long speech. And the Principes. The Principes. If we have a look at the old Principes, where are you, my friend? Down on this end. You can see... They just have slightly better armor than the Hastati. The Hastati just have this little breastplate, I guess. A leather jerkin, maybe. Yeah, it looks like leather. Whereas the Principes have that sort of chainmail armor. Um, so definitely better. And we have seen that in droves. The Hastati rout at the sound of the enemy general's hooves, as we've seen. Namidians, let's go. We could probably win this just with the cavalry, but we bring infantry just just for the the hell of it, eh? What are you? Namidian mercenaries. Uh, they do... I oh know, the Carthage, I was going to say. The Namidians do generally have a bonus in... Uh, what do you call it? In deserts? But, yes... Come on, get close to those Numidian mercenaries, because they're a pain to deal with otherwise. Alright, let's go. Get in there. <laughs> Put the general bodyguards in the middle, which is not ideal. Not something we really want to contend with. With the Hastati. Prinkapes, let's go. Okay, they're going to charge, so we're going to counter charge. 
You two equities, let's bring you around the back. You guys should... Ah, uh, Hustati once again routing at the sound of the enemy's hooves. You fools! You are absolute trash! I would really, really like to degrade the Hastati in their ranking because of this. I know we are on very hard. Come on, cavalry, let's go. Get the Namidians. You guys get in there. I'd like you to charge those skirmishes. Right, you guys. Get in there. What are you? You guys get in there. Ah, oh, your cavalry. Once again, another messy battle, but we will win this. We will lose quite a few men, though, unfortunately. The thing with rebel armies... Yeah, he's dead. Good, that should be them all dead. You don't need to chase them down, which is great. Wow, Hestati, you are trash. Principe has lost so many. Oh. I don't know what's going on there. Like, they literally just break. Uh, if the cavalry go anywhere near them. I haven't seen them breaking this much before. Maybe it's because our generals are not that strong yet. But Quintus is a good general. No, he's not. He's a terrible general. That's probably why. Aulus, and Aulus does have minus one morale. That's part of it, I'm guessing. Vanquish a poor farmer. Unstinting. Political animal and a command talent. We could probably do with getting rid of Aulus. Uh, and replacing him with... Sir. Subject to rumours. Yeah, you are not... Yeah, all this is bad though in general. That is the one issue. Ah. Right, cavalry should be able to do this battle. So let's go. We have one horseman. But, oh well. Back to playing as Parthia again, eh? Pure cavalry armies. Fantastic. Do check that Parthia campaign out, guys. It is good fun, especially at the start. Where we are struggling through economic hardship. Um, and using the most OP unit in the game to try and get us through that. OP camp. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to do that. You two guys to one side. It was you guys, wasn't it? We'll go there. You guys here. Namidians in the middle. Let's go. Could also be to do with the tiredness they get there when they get to the battle, but I don't think they're very tired. The Hastati just generally have poor morale, and they get when they get charged by the enemy, they break instantly. We need Marium reform units ASAP. You guys get there. Try to take out their cavalry if we can. So you guys get there. Our general is a lot slower. Because he's not fast moving. Okay, they're bringing their general that way. That means we have... Let's give them a bit of their own medicine, eh? What are you? Iberian infantry. We should have no problem charging through the Iberian infantry. Get in there. God, Equites. Come on, man. That Iberian infantry should be dying. It's not. This is no way for a Roman to behave. Oh. Will be his forever. What is wrong with our morale? I genuinely think that that must be. That must be something to do with Aulus's. Aulus's trait. Get in there, will you? Get around this way. That must be something to do with Aulus. I can't see it being anything else. They should not be breaking that badly. Like, even on very hard, they should not be break. They should be able to charge straight through an Iberian infantry unit and not have any problem. Let's watch this. Okay, like that. I don't know why. Yeah. Shocking again. Shocking. They're actually frustrating me at this point. Why are you breaking so easily? All this has to go and we have to see whether that's the problem. I don't remember it being 
this bad in that Parthia campaign at all. But then again, the horse archers did break a few times pretty, pretty tremendously. So you guys are going there. No, Aulus, you're... Uh, Quintus, you're going there. Not Quintus, what are you? Who are you? Flavius! I prefer you to Aulus. Aulus is trash. Get rid of him. We need Gaius. Everyone will stand in line for Gaius. He is a strong boy. A very strong boy. Get some town watch as well. Two more turns until we can retrain all these trash Astarte. As we have found them. I think we will... Uh, if I was redoing that ranking video, I'd probably downgrade their starter. I think I'll put them in C tier. I'd probably even downgrade them to D tier now from the fact that they break at the sound of their own walking, their own marching. It's embarrassing. I believe we can end the turn. Oh, Numidia, why have you done this? It looks like Carthage has gotten happy because Numidia has put a... Oh, we're going to lose this. He sunk one of our ships as well. So, oh, no one do that. Ah, get it back straight again. Come on. Is that straight? I can never tell. I think that's straight. Ship, Annoys me if it's not. Carthage wasn't happy, but then again, what have we done here? Recruited anyone else? Probably those peasants. Let's retrain these guys. Ah, Equites, Cavalry Auxilia. Let's keep going with more Princapes. Come into Thapsus. All this. Get away. You're an absolute trash. Piece of trash. Triaria. So we do have something to fight the cavalry with now. Ah, we have too many troops. Peasants. You guys. We can't retrain the Namidians in there anyway, so we don't really need to. Ooh. Is that our uh, spy? Let's come down to Lepsis Magna, I believe. Yes. You guys stay there. Right, let's retrain everyone we can. Uh, oh, the cavalry actually need to go retrain at Carthage. Right, you go Carthage then. Get them retrained, and then we will start the long walk east. Oh, we, oh we're going to go Surtur, aren't we? So, do we have a blacksmith in Carthage? No. We do have this. Okay, we will retrain these guys then just for one turn. And then we will go up to Carthage and retrain them. Actually, no, because it's going to take two turns for these guys to go anyway, isn't it? So, get up. How unhappy is Thapsus? Pretty unhappy. We'll replace those Numidian mercenaries with actual good troops soon. Uh, with some Princapes. So we don't need to worry about that. They still haven't given us a Senate office. This is why we don't want to be the Senate's bitch. Because they make a bitch out of us. Pricks. Lucius. Let's see how Lucius is. Oh, Lucius. Lucius. You have one. Oh, Julianus has the four. Maybe we should have taken Julianus. Lucius has a, is a fluent speaker. And he's too morale on the battlefield. This man has the ability to inspire his followers in battles. His setbacks seem more the result of bad luck than a, look of, than a lack of talent. Cool. That's actually a good... That's a, that's a morale bonus. Um, what should we do with Lucius? We are making money now, though. So we could probably start recruiting another army over in Carthage. Um, and I believe we will do that. Retrain you, you fool! Fool of a man. Fool of a took. One more turn to go in Corduba. Yeah, Town Watch. That's us. Yeah, doing well. Fine. Masana's built. It's Temple. What do you want to do in Masana? In more income. Carthage. Let's go for more armor upgrades. Nice to get a blacksmith. Are you sure there is no blacksmith here? Why is there no blacksmith? What do I need for a blacksmith? Oh, we can build a blacksmith. Sorry, I was looking for the eastern type blacksmith. Let's go. Yeah, let's go with the normal blacksmith. Carthage is going to be a big recruitment hub for us. 
The reason why we want to recruit in the Carthage rather than Capua is to keep that population high in Capua. Thapsus. Get some roads in Thapsus. And that's it. End of turn report. Fantastic. Right. Capua, how are we doing, by the way? Oh, very close to being able to upgrade to a large city. So we're not too far off the Marian reforms, which is fantastic. Absolutely awesome. Oh, they're unhappy in Palma by 2%. I don't know why that would be, but probably squalor. Uh, yeah, minus 10% squalor because we're above the uh, limit by 130, nearly, well, 15% above the limit. Not 15, 7.5% above the limit, which is quite a considerable amount. So I'm guessing that's why they're unhappy. Uh, right, Lily Byam. Lily Byam's still reasonably unhappy as well. Syracuse, Masana. Yeah, we're all good. Spy. Ah, keep doing that. Whoopsie. Diplomats, let us go. And talk to maybe the Germanians and the Bretons. Although, I think we have a trade rights with the Bretons already. Oriba's doing well. Yep. Another turn to pump through. I'm glad we got rid of those rebels, though, because they would cause a lot of devastation. Ceasefire with the Greeks. I'll accept that, but just give us map information. I request map information, and... What about a region? Do you have a really shit region we could take? Rhodes is nice. No, very demanding. Thermon. Mm. Okay, not that, then. Uh, give us some money. You just, you need to give us some money for, for what you've done to us. Let us end the bloodshed. Okay, yeah, we'll accept oh, that. 1,250. Thank you, Greeks. You need to pay us money, but I'm assuming the Brutia... I also noticed just before the uh, thing got going, look, the Brutia, I went out to Salona. That's generally a Senate mission, so they're following the Senate. The snooty Brutia, it sounds about right, judging by their filthy... Brutii heritage. I hate the Brutii. But look at this uh, Julii army. That is stacked, man. And then uh, they've also got... They could probably put together two full stacks already. Well, no. They could definitely put together two full stacks already. So, good on them. The Julii look like they're going ham. So, well done. Yes, Capua. Fantastic. Finish the building of that. And then we'll go with that. Spain and Gaul. That's great for us. We have declared a ceasefire. We are the most advanced faction. Fantastic. Carthage is getting more Prinkapes. We will replace the Hestati with Prinkapes. Cordoba, you have done us proud. And built what we need to be built. Let's go with that. Another Hestati, I'm guessing. Um, Carthage, another Prinkapes would be great. Um, we'll probably take you guys out while we retrain everyone else. Yes, there we are. Retrain everyone we can. Oh, not quite enough. We'll have to merge someone then. Um, yep, and that should reduce the amount of troops we need to retrain, should it not? That should be... Oh, they still want to retrain them to get an armor and or a weapon upgrade, I guess. Okay, well, that's fine. We can wait another turn. Or potentially two turns to wait for this blacksmith. I mean, it's not... Going after Numidia is not really something that is pressing. We're still waiting. We're still waiting on one, probably two, three turns before we take uh, Tingi. Lovely bit of Tingi. Fantastic. Uh, oh, it's Greek. That's why. It's a cultural problem. Syracuse, let's go for more money. Uh, we are not making a huge amount of money after all those retrains. Go for that then. Uh, we built a lot this turn, so let's go for whatever's cheap. Um, everything's reasonably expensive over here. Roads aren't, though, and roads actually do a lot for us. Carolus, you can get whatever's cheap. Ah, 800, still expensive. A port for 800, though, is a bargain. Libyan will wait. Palmer will get a port because that's worth it. 
called Dober. We'll get roads. So we still have a couple of settlements we need to build in next turn, which is fine. Yes, another turn over, I believe. Um, you. Let's keep going. Go talk to the Germans. Spy, doing well. Yeah, trash. Oh, God, look at those armies. We shouldn't... If, if my Hastati route fighting the Numidians, I will personally decimate them. With my own hands, I tell you. With my own hands. I will crucify them all. Well, not all. One in ten. Scythia and Armenia. Makes sense. Yes, Carthage. A lot of retraining done. Fantastic. Should also have weapon upgrades now, I believe. Yeah. That makes their attack a little bit better. But that morale of four is just really shit. They have morale of six, though. I don't know why they're routing so easily. Yeah, Triarii of ten. You'd think the Principes would have a bit more morale, to be honest. Yeah, Kappa is going. Cordova built the roads. Um, get a port in Cordova. We should be able to trade with the Britons then, I believe. Which would be good. Right, we missed out. So here we need... Ooh, we need more public order. Carthage, you're building. I recuse. Libyan, we need something. We'll get the health. Masana's building. Capua's building. Let's just check we're building everywhere. Yes, we are. Fantastic. Now, are we ready to move out or do we wait one more turn? Um, I think we wait one more turn and we'll replace another Hastati unit with a Princapes. Probably two because we'll be retraining twice or maybe three times. And we'll have a pretty decent sized army and maybe a second army as well ready to go. Uh, what we should do around here, now we've got some spare money, is again recruit another navy. Bit of a trash navy, but as long as we can beat any rebel fleets in the area, it should be fine. Now, we should move you guys out. We take the town watch. I don't know, it depends on this. No, we don't take the town watch, and we'll cancel that and get... This law. Let's have a look at the income. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. So, more than half our uh, income is being lost. So, 55% of our income is being lost to corruption. So, that shows you how important law is once again. Um, so, yeah, that will be a lot more helpful. All right, we'll get you on the boats. Let's come have a look at Tingi. And we'll drop you off next turn. Right then, guys, another turnover. Let's go. We are smashing through the turns, but we did just destroy Carthage in two turns, so. Takes a. Oh, no! They're our ally. Don't be silly. Numidia was found in Carthage. Fine. For that, can you now upgrade them to. Just silver. I believe. Did we not get an armor upgrade from that? Just weapons. Okay, whatever. We'll go up to the next blacksmith anyway. We won't wait for that though, but getting silver weapons on these guys will be good. Um, yes. Fantastic. Uh, will it be good? I, no, it doesn't matter. We'll go. Um, Flavius and Quintus will send you two together. You guys come down to here. We'll go after Serta. And Gaius will go after Dimidi and whatever this trash is. So we'll go Serta first. And then we'll march onto Lepsis Magna. Probably trying to get on the boats if we can. We'll bring these boats around. Let's go. Fantastic. Right, we've got you two. Let's get as many Princapes as we can. Just two. I think I believe there's some here as well. Princapes. Principes. Fantastic. We don't actually need those archers in this army. So we'll get Hastati instead. Oh, we've only got five things left. So we'll go with Triarii. And then the four Equites. And the archers and the dogs can be part of another army. The next army that we will have ready to go. 
There you are, Numidia. Ready to be killed. Fantastic. Numidia is just annoying to deal with because of how spread out their lands are. That is the main thing. So, Carolus, let's go. What should we get? We'll get a market. Palma. These places just need trade. It's not about anything else. Cordoba, unfortunately, we can't get... Oh, Cordoba's still upset. So, we will not get that. We'll get something cheaper here. There's nothing cheaper than 800, though. Um, how about Carolus? Yeah, we'll get something cheaper in Carolus. As... Oh, no, that's still... Yeah, we'll... So that we can build in all three. We're starting to be reduced by on money a little bit. So we'll go for that just to keep them happy. I believe Namidia will probably be in there. Trying to kill us. Right, let's drop you off. Yes. Declare war. Ah, uh, you didn't see this one coming, did you, Numidia? Oh, we could have did, we could have attacked Captain Mr. Judah. Whatever his name is. But it won't matter. We'll take it next turn pretty easily anyway. Hopefully, unless everyone breaks, like usual. And what was the devastation here? Devastation 100. Ah, it's, it's fine. I'm not really bothered about killing those guys. Some Carthaginian remnants. Yeah, we don't need those cavalry. That should be everything again. We're already starting to have quite a few uh, different armies all over the place, and I'm already getting confused. <laughs> so, yes, in terms of battles, slightly slower episode, but don't worry. We will be in the thick of it once again soon. Alliance, trade rights, and map information. Yep. We see no benefit to okay. us. Okay, well, what about trade rights, then? A most generous proposal. Map for map, so I can see how big A you are. A most generous yep. proposal. Cool. All right, then. Ah, oh, Germania's doing well. Nice one. Well, reasonably well. Not unbelievable, but reasonable. Let's go to Dacia then. Rioting in Cordoba. Ah, Cordoba! Oh, they're back to 70%, so they shouldn't riot anymore. Senate no longer requires this. Why is that? The flash flood over here that has done nothing. Okay, fine. We're now at war with Numidia. We've got a new family member. Oh, that actually does make a difference. But luckily, it only killed one, one peasant. One great peasant warrior has died in this eruption of Mount Etna. Oh, well. Masana. Right, Masana. What should we build then? Let's keep on going down here so we can get better ships soon. Syracuse, if we can, we'll get the ship right. Oh, the ship right is cheap. Lily Biome. Get walls just because it's cheap. And it gives a bit of law. And then Thapsus, let's get the port. Now Carthage, we are building the armory. Why have we queued up sewers here? Don't remember doing that. Retrain you guys. I think we'll continue. What's your upkeep? Oh, the Equites upkeeps a lot less, so we'll get the four Equites first for the next army. Let's go, Quintus! Fantastic, let's go. Right. Oh, it's only them. That reinforcing army has run away. Let's listen to one of Gaius's trademark short speeches once again. But yes, the reinforcing army ran away. I don't know why. Fools! Fools! It was the only hope they had. But oh well. I believe Quintus will have a very short speech here as well. Probably too short for me to drink the rest of my coffee. But we'll see. Quintus is a madman. Well, a very angry man anyway. The omens are not favourable. But that is an excuse made by the weak and feeble. We are neither, and so face the day with calm hearts. There stands the Numidian. They think themselves brave. I think that they are dead and do not know it yet. We are here to rescue the good folk of this settlement. Those fools have never fought against me before. I hope to give them a nasty surprise. 
I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Hey, that was, yeah. Didn't quite manage to finish my coffee, but we got, we got close. We got close, guys. Gaius was not so terse. And uh, didn't have such a short speech for one. Which is amazing. Now, let's see how many of these units route in the classic routing simulator. Let's get these guys. We're going to use these guys better. Spanish Mercenaries, 4, 12, 7. These, 6, 7, 14. So they are worse. So yeah, we'll use them first. And then Mercenaries as well. So they can't be retrained. Um, which I guess means you should probably use the other guys, but because they're mercenaries, might as well get rid of them. They're basically Iberian infantry, but with javelins, aren't they? A bit bigger shields, though. Oh, with elephants on. Never noticed that before. Why do you have elephants on when you're Spanish mercenaries? Where did those elephants come from, bros? How do you know what elephants look like? Oh, elephants. How do you know what elephants look like? As well. I guess you've probably seen them in like a slave market or something, but. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have that wildly inaccurate. Oh, God, excuse me. Now they must Pick up. Way you guys fall on that. Let's see what we'll do. We'll send the Hestati in support, but. Ain't gonna make a difference. Oh, they are firing from over there. Naughty, naughty. The walls are down. Get this Order your men on to victory. They're going to charge the these guys and break them instantly. I just know it. So, what we should probably do is send one of you guys forward. You guys behind or to the side if we can. Just so they can't charge them just as well as, well as they normally would be able to. Also kind of means that I won't be able to charge my cavalry in there just as well. Yeah, the pathing is, is still bad in this game. <laughs> they said they had improved it, but... Problem is, with these guys that have low morale, is... They route. If one routes, they all route. None of them go, oh, we're actually outnumber the enemy quite heavily and we sh Oh, God. Get on guard mode. You're gonna die. Oh, they got a terrible charge off. Thank you, Numidia, for being trash. Oh, God, you're supposed to. I don't know what you're doing, and it doesn't seem to be working very well. Running right there to fire your javelins. I don't get it, but okay. Now, our general's in there. He should. Oh, he's over there, though. That's not good. They're shaking already, I as long as that general... Oh, he's just killed someone. Nice one, bro. There he is. No, don't die. Oh, yes. He's a beast. It is Gaius. Gaius is a beast. The angry, An angry beast, but he is a beast. That's them all deaded. Uh, get our bloody general out of there. Come on, Gaius. We don't want you to die, my friend. There you are. Nice and safe. Guys, fire your javelins if you would. Now it's just going to be a grind fest for the center of the city. Fire them. Come on. Yeah, we're, we're smashing these guys. Hey, and we did a route. It's probably because they're not Hastati. Hastati are just hard-coded to just route, apparently. Well done, guys. Wow, well done, Spanish mercenaries. You did us proud. You didn't, but you guys did. Well done. Welcome to the Roman way of life. Conquest and victory. Unlike your uh, brethren in Spain, who take 50 turns to get to Asturica. Victory and glory. So, of course, we're going to enslave, get that population growth going up, destroy the Temple of Baal. Yes, thank you. And we'll go for that law, which is Saturn. Get a peasant. Pretty unhappy, aren't you? Don't need to retrain anyone, actually. Oh, we could get Equites. Have insufficient funds, though. 
What's more important, equites or... <laughs> no, we need peasants anyway. We can get some we can get some cavalry as mercenaries, can't we? Yeah, we'll we'll stay here one turn. You guys can you guys can go there. Or well do we need you anymore? We'll keep you here actually, just to in case we need to ferry troops in between. You guys are on your way. Fantastic. Let's go. Um yeah, I believe that's everything. Apart from you, you need to go and bring old or young Lucius ready to command an army that will go all the way to Egypt. Lucius, you have been chosen, unlike Aulus, who was chosen and then unchosen. Because <laughs> he's shit. Blockade Serta. Um, right. No, thanks. I mean, we will get there, actually, but we... Will we get there? I, I believe we'll get there before we take it. So that's fine. Right, next turn. Let's go. Oh, yes. So, oh, a suitable husband. As I... We, oh, what's his name? Herennius Flaminius. He is a really good commander. How, and he's 16. Oh, my days. Become my son. I love you. You are now my son. And we will pick you up as well. We might even send old, uh, what are you, Lucius, somewhere to govern. We don't really need him to govern anywhere, though. There's no, I guess Masana's a minor city. Can drop off, yeah, we'll drop off Lucius there. He's got good, um, uh, he, yeah, he, he does have the two morale, which is great. This guy, social drinker, good defender, superior commander, and a true Roman. Which is brilliant. Um, so I think Lucius, with your good management skills, philosophically inclined and a skilled debater, we will send you to govern the city of Masana. And then when uh, Cornelius dies, we'll send you across to Syracuse. So yeah, let's go here rather than there. Get up there. Yeah, trash, trash garrison once again. Annoying we don't really have any uh, missile troops. I miss the Parthian army composition of missile horse archers everywhere. Wow. Um, it's not great, is it? In terms of the... Uh, in terms of that. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll get as many peasants as we can. Can we recruit any mercenaries? Oh, okay, yeah. Let's get two of you guys. We've wasted a bit of money. We've got to keep them happy. I think we won't need all four. Right, let's go. Get in there and we'll build a watchtower here. And we'll get all the way to there. Fantastic. Marriage with Flaminius. Oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about adopting sons. If we're playing the br snooty brutti eye, we probably wouldn't um, marry anyone that's not a brutti eye. But no, we are playing as the Skippy Eye. We don't care. We want to get there no matter what. We don't care the means. We don't care whether we insult the Senate or become good friends with the Senate. We just want to get to the top. We have something to prove. A chip on our shoulder, uh, like it says in the description. But yeah, unfortunately, Metellus died, uh, which is very sad. And Julius Skip Julianus Scipio has a philosopher. Oh, his name's Julianus, not Julius. Whoops. Whoopsie. Been saying his name wrong this whole time. Carolus got the sewers. Let's get that. We just need cheap things. But we're not going to be able to. Cordoba, Tingi. Cordoba. Yeah, Cordoba's happy again. But we could do with... Ooh, nice mines. What are these? 350. Kind of worth it, I guess. How much do you cost? Yeah, 10 turns. That's a really good turnaround, to be fair. So, yes. Right, let's end the turn again. Uh, spy. Yeah, I'm happy with you down there. Come up here, though. Just see whether they are trying to attack. Got this little army, but it's trash. We could send these guys to bolster, but wait two more turns. Ah, wonderful. The wonderful world of Rome, eh? The wonderful world of Rome. 
Let's see whether we can do this. If we make <laughs> no, we're not going to do next that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Let's go for map information. A most generous proposal. Fantastic. Let's see where you are. Oh, I thought I asked for map information, but I guess I didn't. Oh, well. Um, let's go to, like, Thrace or something. We can uh, I'll try. I want to get to Anatolia, but we can't without the boat, which is quite annoying. So we're going to have to go up Thrace and then Macedon. Town grows. Lily Biome. Brilliant. Excellent. Ceasefire Britannia in Gaul. Okay. Cool. You do what you want. Oh, Capua. Upgraded once again. Right, we're going to have to get some sewers. Definitely, because otherwise we might get a plague. Masana. We'll get some sewers in Masana as well. Lily Biome, your building. Thapsus. Sewers. And then we do have a couple of places not building. Oh, just one. That's perfect. Go for the port. Means we can't really recruit anyone now. Tingy, how are you doing? Yes, Tingy is happy. Got too many troops in there, though. A bit inefficient, but they're happy, so that's all that matters. 200 for a watchtower just feels ludicrous when they're 15 in Divide and Conquer. <laughs> oh, this will be an easy battle. On the way to Demidi. Yeah, fantastic. Right. Let's do that. We should have... That should trigger it to be done, I hope. Oh, Carthage, why must you always be unhappy? You're a constant thorn in our side. Culture penalty. Okay, yeah, that is a big one. We have nearly everything is their culture. That's 40%. Unrest. Why do you have unrest? Because we're below 70% uh, maybe. But that's adding to that. Um, with this garrison should hopefully help. Can't wait for this armor to be done so that we can upgrade everyone's armor as well. That is fantastic. And then we'll start get going down the temple tra uh, temple chain to get those extra armor upgrades. Namidia wants to uh, fight, but I'm sorry, Namidia. We're just going to take you out as quick as we did Carthage, really. You fools! Interesting though, when we're on Thapsus, I don't believe it mentioned that that was Carthage's last city. Normally it does. So that was a little bit confusing, to be honest. I th thought that it would. Brave warriors! Cool, that's a sin. Great renown through leading men to victory. I see no reason to change the habits of a lifetime today. The Numidian king has sent his servants against us. Do not fear them. For they will be cut down, just like other men. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. You are one of the largest armies our people have ever sent to war. Take comfort in this. Cool. But know that it is also a burden. We are a mighty force, but mighty deeds are expected. So have no fear. Your deeds will live forever! Our task today is a noble one. To preserve the town and its people. Our numbers are vastly superior. It may not seem fair, but we are not here to be fair. Only to win. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. They are strong in cavalry, and this will require inventive thought today, as we lack enough spearmen to counter them. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Yes, what a great speech, once again. Hmm. Well... Annoy uh, we'll go this way. Annoying that we can't get in the city that way. Um, we only have one unit of Triarii, but we have Principes now. So, yeah, we'll split. We'll go one there and one there. You two around here. One there. One there. We have no missile troops. That is one issue. 
so you guys will send you to the back. Send all the Equites here. Back to bring the Triarii this way. We'll send a bit of a stronger army this side. So you guys will bring you this side as well, so we know that you're all part of this army. And this general as well. So, and then the rest of you, including the old Principes, can go this side with you. And we'll drop this ram. Oh, make sure we're on fire at will. What? Yep. Ooh, yep. Like this. I keep getting my microphone in the way of the screen so I can't see where I'm pressing. Um, but yeah, let's go. So, as I said, a bit of a quieter episode in terms of battles, but oh, you don't need to have the ram, do you? I don't want to be near that shooty shooty bang bang thing. Um, yeah, they've got all their troops around this side, which is excellent for us. Yep, you guys, also, you guys should all be. Fire will, yes, you are. Triarii, you come forward. We're going to use you very. Rather than the Hastati, we'll use the Triarii to, to block because they should take down the cavalry very easily. Uh, and on top of that, they shouldn't break. If they just break against these Numidians, I'll be fuming. But yeah, let's speed things up. Yeah, they've run from that side. They, they know that it's not really much of a threat this side. Okay, who's dying? You are. That's annoying. Should have probably gone that side. Ah, uh, that one. Knowing that you can even reach us, to be honest. Who are you getting sh by? Ah, uh, Peltas. Oh, well, it's it's just a starty. Fire, were you at the Desert Infantry? Fantastic. They might even run from the walls, which would be excellent for us. Uh, what we'll do then, bring you guys up to here. Brinkope is lovely. You guys up to here. They're deciding to run around this way, I guess. A starty. Let's Oh, we don't, you don't need the ram anymore, bro. You guys get up there. You guys come with as well. And we'll bring the old general. Okay, you want to abandon the walls? That's fine by me. Where's the triari? Let's get the triari up here. Guys, get there. You guys in there. This Astarte unit will send here. You guys there. Um, oh, we need the general to stay with these guys, otherwise they will just break. So, yes. Flavianus, I believe your name is. Is it? Ah, I can't remember. I already can't remember everyone's names. Which is trash. You should be able to beat these de desert infantry. Will you guys fire or, or what? You guys stay there. Yeah, sure, I get there. We'll send you on guard mode as well. Okay, you're coming around this way. What are you, though? Um, sorry, you're going to die. <laughs> Very easily. You guys get there. Fire your jump. What? Oh, no. He died charging Numidian javelin men. No. <laughs> oh. Well, Quintus, you might as well just get straight into the fight then. Let's go, send you around. Okay, we killed all these guys. Uh, right, just go in the middle. Like, I sh you fucking idiot, man. How did you die? Well, I guess uh, Flavius is taking over. Flavius is hella better anyway. You are a fool. You are a fool. Whoever you, Quintus Quintus you not just a fool, you're embarrassing to the Roman name. I hope you take that to heart. I hate you. I hate you. Well, we can't afford to lose um Flavius. You shall be known as the foolish general, if ever there was one. You died child No, not foolish, weak, I guess would be the word. Incredibly weak. Oh, how these are starting to go ham. We don't need you to go ham. You just break. You not even attacked them. You just broke. 
Ah, uh, he, he breaks as well. His general bodyguard unit breaks. What from? These are Numidian cavalry, man. I guess the generals died, so it's a bit of a uh, morale shock. Because of that, we'll leave these guys this side because, as we know, they are foolishly shit uh, without the general near them. Uh, you need to keep going, bro. don't care what you do. Just keep on attacking. Right, Triari, you're probably going to take a bit of a battering, but we'll go. Brinkapay's up. General up. You guys up as well. Where's their general's bodyguard gone? There. Right, just kill their general, will you? I don't care what else you do. Equites. I don't dare risk you now because... Come on, Triari, let's get into the cavalry. Yep, they're going to charge us, which is great for us. Should do well against this cavalry. Yep, absolutely shattering them. Come on, Triaria. You should not be dying this quickly. Yes, nice one, General. You're just doing a bit of annoying damage, I guess. Uh, can't get you to rally either now, which is annoying. You do that and then charge the Triari taking an absolute battering. Now, these are just Numidian cavalry. How are you doing so badly? Get in there. We'll get the Prinkapes to fire. We'll bring these two units up as well. And you, just in case. Good God. You forget how shit infantry really is in this game. Uh, when you're playing as Parthia, to be honest. Where are the trio? It's still standing strong. That's it. Nice. They should all be dead now. Get into those dev infantry. You did well, Equites, for once. No, we should not be fighting uh, Spearmen. Let's go. Uh, you guys come round if you can, but it's going to be too late by the time you come round anyway. Get there. Brinker Bay's doing well. Well done, my boys. Well, I've got to say, Flavius, you're better than this that trash muncher. Whatever his name was. Quintus. He was a fool. A damned fool, I tell you. Get in there. And that's it. Fantastic. Died. I still can't get over it. He died charging the Midian javelin men. Oh, what an idiot! What an absolute fool! Well, that's starting. 124. Well done. 80 for the Triario, but it was against cavalry. I forget how strong is cavalry in this game, man. It's, it's ridiculously strong. The Midian cavalry shredding through Triario should not happen. Like when you think about it, it should not happen. At all. But I guess it does. So what can you do? Right, I'll enslave for Serta. Once again. Right, what is this army? Trash, looks like. Right, Flavius. It's your time to shine. You are very good. Draftsman, been in wars. More hit points so you shouldn't die to... <laughs> Let's call cool. out uh, Heartless Ruler. You're you're just a good, good overall commander, really, aren't you? Let's go. They're going to be unhappy, aren't they? Yeah, very unhappy. We'll get this. Retrain you. Uh, we'll come back. Uh, could we? Uh, yeah, we'll have. We should have movement points to come back into the city. So let's go for Shrine to Saturn. Keep them happy. Repair that as well. Right, let's fight this back. Oh, Jesus. That is some serious trash. Numidia. Numidia, everyone. Prime Numidia. <laughs> At least they don't have a general that will just break half our troops when they just see him. Oh, my God. There stands the Numidians. They think themselves brave. I think that they are dead. 
and do not know it yet. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. We have a slight advantage in numbers, but no lives can be thrown away today. We cannot afford such profligacy. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different, so lay into them with a will. They will try to keep us at bay and take the coward's way of bombarding us with missiles. We must grasp them by the sword belt in this battle. Now I say, this far and no further. Here we make a stand. You all know my worth and what I have done before. Of the foes who attacked me in the past, few ever got to boast of their success. He loves himself, doesn't he? Old Flavius. Flavius, I love you because you don't die charging. Blooming. I just... I can't even get over it. Like, it's not even a joke at this point. That That is redonkulous. But I guess his hit points were, were done. His hit points were gone. Right, why have you hidden your armor, you fool? Can they hide in the middle of the desert? Like, what's going on there? Right, let's go. Alright, no mercy for Numidians. That is, that is the motto from now on, boys. No mercy for Numidians. Quick and painful death we shall inflict upon them. While they don't know what to do. Come on, catch them. Yes. Yes. Well done, Equites. General, get in there. Get in there. You guys get there. We should just basically just be breaking them now. As long as we kill their cavalry, get in there. Fantastic, you guys. Um, problem is the cavalry will come back, which is very annoying. Get into those cavalry up there. Okay, you, Equite is going to be, yeah, they're just breaking everyone, aren't you? Uh, right then, what are you? More javelinmen. I don't know why the javelin men have charged us. It's funny. I'm gonna have to trap, try and trap these guys. Need to kill 85%. Still got a lot of troops left. They're just all routing. Ah, uh, we'll have to come past them, lest they catch them. Come on, Equites, let's go, let's go. Nope. Let's get that way. The problem is we're just going to be chasing them and they're going to be firing missiles at us. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Cavalry is a boss in this game. It's don redonkulous. See, they're coming back. That's good. That's not our general. The death of the general to the Namidian javelin man shall never be forgotten. Now let's go. Where are you, by the way? Oh. All the way over here. You guys chase those them down. Uh, let's go. Yeah, keep going, guys. I know you're going to get tired in the desert, but oh well. We still need to kill quite a few. But there isn't really many units left to kill. I guess those guys... Right, keep going. How much have we killed now? Ah, oh, yes. Fantastic. Let's go. Well done, guys. That was a lot better battle. 779. Equite is coming in ham. 147. Well done. Prinka Bays and, and Hastati in general doing pretty well, to be honest. Well done. Well done, guys. Fantastic. And no one died. No general died charging some javelin men. So... That's always a bonus. Victory and glory. Um, don't want to leave Serta in such an unstable position. 
Well, that should help. That should help. I'm at 25 right now. Mm, I kind of want to go back to Carthage. Um, oh, we can't even get on. It's probably just going to be as quick to just walk to Carthage. So we'll send you back that way. I think Serta will be okay, just like Tingy was. Yes, what have we got here? Heroic death. It was not heroic. Quintus shall be ripped from the history books and thrown into the ocean as a fool and a weakling for dying against such weak units. <laughs> what a dickhead. Let's have a look at our family tree. Uh, family tree. Actually see the family tree? Quintus died in battle. At least we've still got Gaius. Gaius the, the, the Great. Gaius the Great. He is the best general we have. Fantastic. 5-5. Five, five. Brilliant. All this trash. He doesn't even have any management. Oh, God. Julianus is good. Flavius is our new general. Lucius. Herennus. Flaminus. Flaminius. He is going to be a new general as well. Um, yes. So, we can drop off. We want Lucius to go to Masana. And Flavimi, Flavinus. Flavinus. You can get dropped off there. Fantastic, guys. Well, this should be the end of this episode, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you again on the next episode.